It's called the Magic Kingdom, Disney. And remember now, I said this is not a bashing session. This is just telling, this is just helping us understand myths, wrong ideas that have been put in the environment that are under us. Myths, wrong ideas, fairy tales, lies. Um, and those type of things, when you grow up with that without questioning things, I mean, that says kingdom. That multi-trillion dollar industry was built on magic. Not reality, magic. And if you ever think about looking at their shows as either fairy tale, fantasy, fiction, myth, but it's decorated so well, we don't even question it. This type of season also, and believe me, this is not a bashing session. We have to get, we have to say this. This time of year, we're bombarded with images of the baby Christ in a manger, surrounded by animals. You have a question, stuff like that. Right? We're also bombarded with this big jolly guy with nine reindeers. We have a question stuff like that. Why nine? What does nine have to do with anything? We know. Nine is a gestation period for human beings. It's the, it's the gestation period for humans. Every other creature has their own period for birth. Nine is ours. And there are other things with nine also. So what we're saying, we have to question things more. We're considered the new kid on the block. And I'm saying that in the broader sense, not just Muslims, African American, ADOS. Africans or American descendants of slaves, ADOS. We consider the new kids on the block. We gotta question everything. For coming out of a culture that didn't treat us right, it's very unlikely that they're gonna teach us right. So, these are just questions, and again, and again, we're not bashing anybody's beliefs because we have family members who are still with us. Allah has blessed us to come away from and see it differently. We hope that we can share the same concept with those who come in behind or those who are associated with us. The magic, the morals, um, in scripture, um, there's a phrase about the dry bones, the dry bones, and how the dry bones are going to come to life. In scriptural language, bones represent simply principles. What principles? Morals, righteousness, truthfulness. So those principles are universal principles. But God, the Almighty, can resurrect those principles amongst a new people, a people who have been left out of the picture. So we just, we just wanted to do some condensing and showing you that these images, these messages that we have been plagued with, uh, we, should, we should begin to question them. All right? not, in a, not in a bad spirit, not in an adversarial position, right? Because if we, once you get a superior position, it, 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 it behooves you not to bash someone from a lower position, lower level. If you have what you consider to be a superior knowledge, you don't bash those below you who you may consider to be below you, right? Um, and if, for example, you get into some disagreements or pushback, you, you, gotta, you gotta know what does your position say? What does your religion say about that? What does your principles say about that? Right? It's, it's really not for us to argue with someone because they don't understand it the way we understand it. We're only responsible, our only responsibility is to deliver this message. There is la ikra fit deen, no compulsion in religion. So with that, and again, I said it was going to be brief, very succinct. This is 
way less than an executive summary or an abstract. It's just a capsule. It's like a bird's eye view. So <clears throat> with God's name, we, we wanted to just bring that out and let you know that we're going to be doing a series of short, brief updates on things that our teacher asked us to do. He asked us to share what he has explained about God, about the devil, about life, about hell, about the devil, about paradise, right? Because so far we've just had the wrong understanding and it, 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 has, it has not helped to move us forward. You know, so with God's name, I'd like to conclude with this point and and just just say that you know we, we need to be aware of the stuff that has been taught to us and I'm and again I can't stress this enough this is not an, a bashing session for any group against any group anybody believe you can choose you can believe what you want but this is our position and we share it with those who accept it Alice Lamb we believe it's universal it speaks to everybody, and that's how we want to share. This is not a, a, a forcing or coercing session, session. We want to just share with you what we know and let the chips fall wherever they may. Assalamu alaikum and God peace be upon all of you. And I hope I've said something that may prick your interest in taking it further as a student. <clears throat> All right, give me one second, y'all. Let's start this over.